as you can see on the board, I'm on the phone, the board quit. Uh, on the phone, some of whichever place you're watching from, the two circles, unlike the other uh, common tangent, this is different. In the previous chapters, we've been looking at uh, a direct common tangent. But in this case, as you can see, it is not direct because a direct one touches commonly do both two sides of the circles or both bottom sides. But in this case, this line CD is the one we are calling the transverse common tangent. On one circle, it touches the upper side. Therefore, on the other side, on, on the other circle, it touches the lower side. So this here is referred to as a transverse common tangent. So we start with common tangent, then we talk about common belt later on. So the idea is just like the other questions we had, we are supposed to learn how to calculate the length of uh, this direct transverse common tangent. And to do this, it starts first of all with some illustrations. So let's go to answer some illustrations. Then from there, we see what happens. In anything that we do in this topic, know that anytime there's a tangent and a radius, they'll always and always meet at a right angle. So that should be right angle. This should also be right angle. Anytime tangents meet with the radius, it meets it at a right angle. So in the previous case, Lisema, the process involves First, before you solve the length of a direct common tangent, you need previous. You should have radius, radius, and the distance between the two radiuses. Uh, in this question, what's it find the same? Not the same, it's equal to almost the same, same thing. If you want to solve distance between uh, two points which are a tangent to two circles, you will need distance between the centers the radius of the two circles. So for this question, let's say the length AB, which is distance between these two centers, equal like uh, 25 centimeters. Then we have to say, the length AC, that is radius of the bigger circle, equals something like 13 centimeters. The radius of the smaller circle equals something like uh, seven centimeters. That's all you need. Once you have these three, then you can calculate the length CD. So to get CD, <laughs> step number one is you are supposed to draw a circle. That is a, a second circle. That is in illustrations. Just like in the previous one, to go to Nasema, bigger radius minus the smaller radius. The answer you get inside the bigger circle, you draw a circle of that radius. Uh, in this case, to Nasema, if you want to, do this process. Step one, say bigger radius plus smaller radius. Notice the difference. In this case, we are adding. In the previous case, we were subtracting. So for transverse, 13 plus 7. 13 plus 7 in gap, 20. So with this same, same center, I'm supposed to draw a circle. My circle is dotted. But I'll draw a circle which is bigger. So I'm drawing that circle. So that these two circles share the same radius. Circle I'm the dog. I hope I'll try to make it bigger. Oh, Mekata. Hey, Mekata. Okay, I'm supposed to draw a circle which is a radius 13 plus radius 7. So that the circle has a center A, which means it's a bigger than this one. So, what do we do? That circle. Let me try again. I hope you eat a touch. Yes. So the circle I've drawn is actually supposed to be 
dotted. And that's why I've used a different pen. It is supposed to be dotted. So can okay, you blue? It is dotted like, because it's helping me come up with the, what I want here. So what's the radius of this circle? The radius of this circle is supposed to be 13 plus seven, which is the same as 20. So the length from here up to there, which is our new radius, should actually be 20 centimeters. So here radius, come here 20 na equals seven, then it means that upper value on that is supposed to be seven centimeters. So that 13 plus seven centimeters gives you 20. So what I'll do next is uh, draw a line <coughs> to a point where I line in Majora through the tangent to the circle, which is dotted. I'm supposed to draw a dotted line through this point. Sorry again. This is a bit of gumu. I'm supposed to draw a line through this point to the center of this smaller circle, Evo. Then I want to give my explanations from there. From this, everything that I've done, could have been in a fuzzy on a kind of clear. The first one is we said that anytime there is a radius meeting a tangent, they meet at 90 degrees. So that's 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees. This here was 90, so it means here happened in 90. So come here in 90, here in 90, here happened in 90, then this is also 90 degrees, which means uh, the figure here is a rectangle. For a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. Here is seven, here is seven. Na hii hapa, inatoshana na the length CD. So it means that if I'm able to get the length from here up to there, then it's the same as calculating the length of CD. But I explain to you, once I want to say, to me, it's a nonsense, but it's just one step, you're already there. So, let's go back to the diagram. Consider, this is the length of CD. This is the length of CD. Let's go back to the diagram. Consider, let me call this point X. I'm going to call this point X. I'm going to call this point X. Triangle A, X, B. Let's check that. Triangle A, X, B. Which kind of triangle is that? Right angle triangle. Right angle at X. I, on this triangle, I have yes. the length AX, which is 20. I also have the length A. I have the length AB, which is 25, which means I can get the length XB. And that length XB is the same as the length of the tangent I'm talking about, which is CD. Kama kawaida, tunazua, if you want to get length on a right angle triangle where you have two sides, you use Pythagoras theorem. So I'll say, this as a hypotenuse, I'll say BX equals to 25 squared minus 20 squared. I think we should say that. 25 squared minus 20 squared. Which is the same as 15. 15. 15. So it means this length here is 15. That's the same name, BX equals to the length CD. So in Amalisha, CD is just the same as 15 centimeters. This CD is the transverse common target that I'm talking about. So I've got it using that process. Just before someone asks a question, Kamaiko, I want to go through the process Kidogo once more. And you listen well. Nimesema, if you look at that diagram in Metora, you will notice that there's those blue lines. No, sorry, black lines. The black lines represent the original figure. There was a circle of radius 13, another circle of radius 7. And after you were given the distance between the two circles, which was 25, and after the radius of the bigger circle was 13, and the radius of the smaller circle was 7. Required you were supposed to calculate the length of uh, the transverse common tangent to the two circles. And that length is the length C, in C, C, D. So I've said that to do this, first of all, to illustrate, 
why you do something else to get that CD. To Mesema for transverse, step number one, you must have the distance between the two centers and the two radius of the two circles. That is step number one. Step number two, add the radius of the two circles. So it is 13 plus seven, get 20. Uh, with center A, that is of the bigger circle, draw that circle of radius 20. Do your radius circle, they are blue. It is supposed to be dotted like, because it's helping. Uh, so Kshai Chora, draw a line from A, extending that radius to the tangent, and Paka meet that point, which is 20 there. Then from that point, draw another line to meet the smaller circle at the center. Then come up with the facts. The facts are E equals 7, P up at 7. All the angles are right angled in this figure, so it means that this is a rectangle. Now come on a rectangle, I call this point X, then XB equals to CD. So how do you get CD? We just get XB. Uh, XB is one side of a right angle triangle, A, B, X. And on that right angle triangle, we have two clear sides. This side, which is 20, and this side here, which is uh, 25. So to get this, we say hypotenuse, which is 25 squared minus 20 squared equals to BX. We did it, we got 25. Once you get BX, BX is just the same as CD. And that CD is what you're calling the transverse common belt. So once you do that, we may find out the question the way it's required. So we welcome any question, Kamaiko. This question here, I illustrated how you get the length of the transverse common target. But in this question here, I'm going to show you how you do it as a student, because I will allow illustrations why things are done so. Maybe you don't need to draw all those sketches uh, if you want to do it. So if you're given such a question whereby they said AB is 20 centimeters, AC is 10 centimeters, therefore BD is five centimeters, then you're supposed to calculate the length CD. To do this question, yes, you must draw some lines, but see Sahana. So you'll draw, a line from A produced through C. Just a line. And that line should be this radius plus this radius, which is 10 plus 5. 10 plus 5 is 15. So your line angle produced you. You can see it there. And I'll join it to the center of the smaller circle. That's all I need. I didn't draw a circle because your circle, I was illustrating some things that explain that. Then, I know this is five. So, in a manisha, the whole of this length is 15. Required is, I want to get, let me call this point X again. I just want to get the length XB, which is the same as CD. So, I'll say BX, which is equals to CD, equals to Pythagoras theorem, 20 squared minus 10 squared, and therefore square root, which is 20 squared minus 10 square root, like square root of 3 and 15 squared, not 10 squared. Oh, 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 no, it's Becca. Thank you very much. It's supposed to be 15. You are a very good student. This is 15 because it is the length from here up to there, so it's supposed to be 15. Thank you. So it's 20 squared minus 15 squared. That's a year equal. Wow. 20 squared minus 15 squared. 13.2. 13.2. 13.2. Yeah. So it is said it is 13.2. How many centimeters be centimeters? So it means that the length of the transverse common tangent CD is 13.2. As simple as that. Imagine evil. So, okay, on these two diagrams, you can see that here I was illustrating. 
the whole process why this is supposed to be that way. But you as a student, to find a question, you only need this additional red line. Once you have it, get the length XB. And that XB is just directly the same as CD. So what you get is supposed to be the length of a, that transverse common tangent. So you are now trying this question. Question in a summer. That's our first question on transverse. I'll just write it at the news check. What's the answer? The answer is I had 19.3. 19.3. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 When you just follow rules, it will be very clear. So that red line forms a right angle triangle that is seen clearly. The total length of this will be 18 plus 10, which is 28. And the length AB is the same as 34. So to get this, let me call this point X. To get XB, which is the same as CD, we just say CD equals to 34 squared minus 28 squared and half a square root, which is the same as, is it the same 719.3? Maybe it's that 19.3 unity. Kama kuna mwanya akwa mefanya hiwa, I think it can be seen, unaweza wana vizuri clearly, that's what is supposed to, to happen. Haya, sawa. 